And here it is, the last lap in the season-long race for the trophy. Millions of viewers from around the world are tuning in for the biggest final in club football, the Champions League final. A warm welcome from me, Derek Ray, joined here on the commentary box, as always, by the former Arsenal and West Ham player, Stuart Robson. And with the atmosphere building to fever pitch, we're just minutes away from kickoff time. It is Manchester City against Paris Saint-Germain. Well, Derek, we've got some of the world's top players out there tonight, so this has to be a great game, doesn't it? I just hope we see both sides play to their full potential. I can't wait for this. City lineup. Ederson stands between the posts. Joao Cancelo starts with Kyle Walker as fullbacks. Kevin De Bruyne plays alongside Rodri in the centre of midfield and providing the main goal scoring threat today is Erling Haaland. Here's how the lineup looks for PSG. Gianluigi Donnarumma is the keeper. Marquinhos plays with Sergio Ramos at the back. Lionel Messi starts with Neymar in the wide positions. And lining up through the middle in attack today is Kylian Mbappe. And now the Champions League final commences. Ball's gone. Good movement. Well, time just challenged magnificently. Hakimi. Neymar. He knew he had to make the tackle and did. Silva. And plenty of room in the wide area. Can he give them the advantage? Well, the keeper had a lot to do. Well, it's a great piece of goalkeeping. So quick off his line. Neymar, a very good tackle. Mares, and possibilities inside the box. And the danger still on. And a time for cool heads. Kylian Mbappe. Neymar. Still an opportunity. Well, that's how to put in a clean tackle. Moving into the advanced position. Able to get a body in the way. A PSG corner it is, and potentially an opportunity. The delivery from Neymar. Well, really, making the goalkeeper's life simple. That should be hit in the back of the net. That was a big, big chance. Phil Foden. City unable to retain possession. Not problematic for the keeper. Struggling to keep the ball. 
and tremendous individual skill Mbappe chances on oh goodness me he made it far too easy for the keeper didn't he well as you can see if PSG had taken a fraction of the chances they've created they would be home and dry now but unfortunately they haven't made the most of them that's a fairly easy save for any keeper to make Foden Joao Cancelo so the whistle then we're up the halfway stage in this match Five minutes separating these two sides from glory. The second half of the Champions League final begins. Well, lovely work to get past his man. Mbappe! What a save! Trying to deliver it accurately. Not all that convincing defensively. This might be ideal for the counter. Can they keep it going? Well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. Pablo Sarabia. And forward this time goes Neymar with options aplenty. Really good challenge. And Bernardo Silva has it. Clears it away. Well, he couldn't pick out a teammate inside the box. Textbook closing down, and now they're on the attack. Cross towards that far post. And a goal for Manchester City! They forge ahead in this final. Let's see what it means in the grand scheme of things. Well, this is worth watching again. Haaland beats the challenge with such ease, and then the finish is fairly simple in the end. That's a good goal. moving again and the question is how will PSG reply to that setback Pablo Sarabia a very good tackle Phil Foden De Bruyne Phil Foden now we're getting the ball forward And a good take under duress there. Hunting strongly to win the ball. And that puts them in position. Not to be in terms of the cross there. Goal kick coming up. Inside the final quarter of an hour now. Superb defensive judgment to end the attack. Foden, and he's through here. And he's broken free. Oh, I can't believe it! Twists and turns in the closing stages. And it's anyone's guess who's going to lift the trophy. Incredible.
Back underway, level pegging, one goal apiece in this game. Over the touchline for what will be a PSG throw. Five minutes remaining and level pegging here. De Bruyne, and it's positive from Manchester City. Is it in the cards for them to score a late winner? But really sticking to their task defensively. And the counter-attack is on, options available. And out of play for a Paris Saint-Germain throw-in. And the electronic board delivers the news. Two minutes of stoppage time. Oh, he's gone for goal! Well, it wasn't quite the quality of shot that we were all anticipating. That is that after 90 minutes. They are level and extra time is coming up. So away they go again. The first period of extra time and it's legitimate to ask to what extent mental strength will come into this. Looking forward to it. Pretty simple for the keeper. Well, as you can see from those stats, put quite simply, City have been excellent in their build-up play, but poor with their finishing. And the advantage is with City. Well, lovely work to get past his man. Failed to keep hold of it. And Manchester City moving the ball with purpose. And the referee has given it. It will be a penalty. Can they forge ahead? And into the book he goes too. Well, once he gave the penalty, he was always going to give him a yellow card. This to see them take the lead once again. Oh, it didn't happen for him at all. Well, he never looked settled there. The pressure must have got to him. There will be one minute added on at the end. The timing was perfect. It had to be. Half time in extra time and still they are level. And so the drama continues here. We're into the second period of extra time. Foden, promising attack this, being egged on by the crowd, can they stop it going in? And problem solved for now. De Bruyne, and a goal at this stage could be decisive. Well, it came to nothing in the end. Now, counter-attacking possibilities here. Firing it towards goal. Oh, just narrowly off target. Well, they broke with such pace and intent. Fantastic move. Just couldn't quite cap it off. Just one minute of stoppage time, say the officials. A City free kick forthcoming.
De Bruyne. And the attack carried an initial threat, but fizzled out. And it has all come down.